Now, let's subtract using column subtraction. First, we have 733 minus 25. So we can set the question out like this, with our digits lined up on the right-hand side. Because if our digits are lined up on the right, then our place value columns, so our ones, tens, and hundreds, will be lined up as well. Now with column subtraction, we work from right to left, so we start with our ones. We have three minus five, but five is larger than three, so we need to exchange with the place value to the left, so with our tens digit. So because five is larger than three, we go to the left, one less, one in front. So now we have 13 minus 5, which is 8. Now we can move on to our tens column, and because we exchanged, we have 2 minus 2, which is 0. Now on to our hundreds, we have 7 minus nothing, so we have 7, which means our answer is 708. Now 318 minus 44. So we set the question out in the same way with our digits lined up on the right. 8 minus 4 is 4, but now when we move on to our tens, we have 1 minus 4. But 4 is larger than 1, so we need to go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 11 minus 4 is 7, and now onto our hundreds, 2 minus nothing is 2. So our answer is 274. Now 350 minus 136. Starting with our 1s, we have 0 minus 6. But 6 is larger than 0, so we go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So that gives us 214. And finally, we have 675 minus 387. Starting with our 1s, 7 is larger than 5, so we go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, and 15 minus 7 is 8. Now, onto our 10s, we have 6 minus 8. But 8 is larger than 6, so we go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, and now we have 16 minus 8, so that's 8. Onto our hundreds, 5 minus 3 is 2, so we have 288. So now, let's take a closer look at these questions and see why this method works. So why, when the digit that we're subtracting is larger, we go to the left, one less, one in front. First, we had 733, so that's seven hundreds, three tens, and three ones, and we were subtracting 25. So we need to subtract five ones first, but we only have three ones. So we need to exchange with our tens. We can exchange one ten for ten ones. So that means we have one less ten, so now we only have two tens. And the reason we put one in front of our digit is because now you can see that we have 13 ones. So really, putting one in front means that we have ten more. So now we can take away five ones. And when we do that, we have eight ones left. So that's why we have eight as the ones digit of our answer. Now onto our tens, we have two tens because we needed to exchange and we need to take two tens away. So that's why we have zero as the tens digit of our answer. And we're not subtracting any hundreds, so we still have seven hundreds to give us our answer 708. Then we started with 318, so that's three hundreds, one ten, and eight ones. We were subtracting 44, so first we could subtract four of our ones to leave us with four as the ones digit of our answer. But then we needed to subtract four tens. What we can do 
is exchange one of our hundreds for ten more tens. That's why we go to the left, one less, one in front, because now we only have two hundreds, but we have eleven tens. So we can take four away, and that leaves us with seven tens. And now, because we exchanged, we have two hundreds and aren't taking any away, so we still have two hundreds in our answer, 274. Now we start with 350, so that's 305 tens, and we need to subtract 136. First, we need to subtract six ones, but we don't have any ones in 350, so we need to exchange one of our tens for ten ones. So now we have four tens and ten ones. So we can take six of those ones away to leave us with four as the ones digit of our answer. So now because we exchanged, we have four tens, so we can take three of those tens away to leave us with one ten. And onto our hundreds, we need to take away one of our hundreds so we have two as the hundreds digit of our answer. And then our last question, we started with 675. So that's six hundreds, seven tens, and five ones. We were subtracting 387, but we need to subtract seven ones, and we only have five. So we exchange one of our tens for ten more ones. So that gives us six tens and fifteen ones altogether. So we can take seven away to leave us with eight ones. But now we have six tens but need to subtract eight. So what we need to do here is take one of our hundreds and exchange it for ten tens. Doing that means that we now only have five hundreds but that gives us sixteen tens altogether. So we can take 8 of our 10s away to leave us with 8 as the 10s digit of our answer. Now onto our 100s we can take 3 away and that leaves us with 2 as the 100s digit of our answer. Now here we've used base 10 blocks but we could also represent the subtraction using place value counters. So here we started with 733 so that's seven hundreds, three tens, and three ones. We were subtracting twenty-five. So to subtract five ones, we can subtract one, two, three, exchange, and then subtract four, five to leave us with eight ones. Then we can subtract two tens to leave us with zero tens, and we're not subtracting any hundreds, so we still have seven hundreds. Then we started with 318, so that's 300s, 110, and 8 ones. We were subtracting 44, so we can first subtract 4 ones to leave us with 4 ones in our answer, and then we need to subtract 4 tens. So we can subtract 1, exchange, then subtract 2, 3, 4, and that leaves us with 2 hundreds and 7 tens. Then we started with 350, but to subtract 136, we need to subtract 6 ones. So we can exchange one of our tens for 10 ones, and then subtracting 6 of those ones leaves us with 4 ones. Now we can subtract 3 tens, so that gives us 1 ten. And we can subtract 100 to give us 2 as our hundreds digit. Then we had 675 and we were subtracting 387. First, we subtract 7 ones, but to do that, we'll need to exchange. So we can subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, exchange, then subtract 6, 7 to leave us with 8 ones. Now we need to subtract 8 tens. We can subtract the 6 tens we have, then exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens and subtract 2 more, and that gives us 8 as the tens digit of our answer. So the last thing to do is to subtract 3 
of our hundreds, and that means we have 288.